We're on SAT practice test 10, math section one, question 19. What's the level of difficulty here? It's definitely hard. Most people are gonna look at this thing and think it's stupid hard, crazy stupid hard. What's the value of sine 42 pi? Most kids are gonna be like, I have no idea. Guys, this is a simple calculator problem. The SAT has a calculator on it and all you gotta do is punch the numbers in. I know this is pretty primitive looking, but I couldn't copy the um, SAT test. It wouldn't let me, so I had to do it like kind of kind of ninja-like. This is step one. This is step two. This is step three. And this is step four. And it it's just literally punching numbers in a calculator. Step one, you go to the calculator that's on the SAT. You can also use your calculator. Step two. You type in sine, S-I-N, space, 42. Step three, you can write in pi or you can click on the little pi thing. It's gonna put pi here. And when you do that, it's gonna say equals zero. Guess what? That's the answer, it's A. Couldn't be simpler. A six-year-old could do it if they just knew how to do the steps on the calculator. Before you go, if you run into a calculator problem or a problem like this and you're not sure what to do, you can improve your odds of getting it right by crossing off answer choices that are normal looking and picking the weird one. Zero is always weird. Zero is a weird number. Anything times zero is zero. You can't even divide by zero. It's very strange. So you wouldn't cross that off if you were looking to pick the weird one. A half is nice and normal. This thing, obviously nutty looking. D, one, nice and normal. So if you're gonna guess randomly, pick the weird one and guess between A and C. But for the last time, calculator's there, it's four simple steps, and you can get right to the answer, and it takes like 15 seconds. Get it right and move on.